ignored. Now, in this case, in our lab experiment, we will be using hot water and cold water. They are not undergoing phase change or anything. So, we needed to understand the principle. Can you tell what principle? Change of enthalpy of liquids. Okay, even though it is water, it is completely liquid. It is not undergoing a phase change, like a steam turbine or something. So that is why I was yesterday also I was emphasizing gravity. Now so because this is what I think. I mean, keep on telling. Be careful not to write, not to write this right for water and all. But for it's, this is a completely liquid, not like a steam turbine, not like R134. You know where they undergo different phases. It's a completely hot water, but it's still liquid. Temperature is you know uh, it, it, it it is well below you know steam point. Okay. So th this is liquid, okay, enthalpy change of liquid only I can write. Anybody you know, understand this one, like any question here? Steam turbine or something you don't want to write here, okay, you want to just stop right there. Okay? So, so, in, so what you do is in this experiment, you will be measuring inlet temperature and outlet temperature, mass flow rate of uh, I, I'll just quickly, then I will come back to you. I'm going to give handout also. So mass flow rate of the, uh, let's say this is, we are doing now for what, hot, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if the same law is, uh, same, uh, you know, we apply instead of the hot, but if you apply for the cold, okay, just excluding this, now Q in, right? So Q in is equal to M dot, you know, again, you know, delta H, which is M dot Cp T2 minus T1, but this time I'm going to simply say cold. So as per our first law of thermodynamics, what should be the case? Q in Q out must be equal to Q in. Okay. So this is the cold fluid. In other words, you will be measuring six quantities: mass flow rate of cold water, which is again you know using years old technique of collecting water in a small bucket or you know measured jar and time so that is the mass flow rate and hot hot water because density changes and your flow rate uh, can change so there is a calibration you have to look there so you can calculate uh, get the hot water mass flow rate then inlet temperature and outlet temperatures you can be measured by thermocouples the only problem is we are at the mercy of this physical plant so hot water rate flow is sometimes very low, okay, so it's a painful, sometimes it is so low, the float is, you know, more the float, more, more the flow, the float goes up, but when it is so low, it doesn't even reach the, the gradation, so we will see, we will do what, what, what the best we can, if not what we can